Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, it has definitely been quite a while uh, since I have uploaded, but I finally come to you with motivation, that of which has not been very frequently observed uh, within myself. But uh, today will be the start of a new form of content. Uh, yes, I have done Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts campaigns before, however... It's been apparent that the first episode does a lot better than the second, third, fourth, and fifth. So, with this, if I begin to make mini-series, which is my process of thinking, it will attract more viewers, but it also provide a fa more uh, quick and relevant content and, um, <clears throat> you know, summing, or summing up a campaign in just one or two episodes, which... Honestly, it would be pretty good for my lack of motivation. Like, I do not continue a campaign past, like, 15 to 20 years, ever. I don't even think I have done that before. But I have played a lot of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I have, like, 220 hours. So this will definitely be an interesting change in content. Anyways, I will not distract you, and I will, uh... Just let you see what's going on with the series, and I hope you enjoy, certainly. So, everyone, here we are at a place that of which consists of two battleships, four heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, and three torpedo boats. A fleet of 14 ships. There is really, really a lot to develop. And just looking right now at the ships we've created, they are interesting French hotels, but in the near future... This fleet will expand rapidly, and in this next um, part here, um, we nigh triple the fleet size, if not more. And, um, yeah.
Alright, so now we are at the second building segment, and this is another important point for the entire campaign. Um, we needed better heavy cruisers, and that, of course, was obvious considering the Leopold's only 203mm guns, and only two of them. So, during this, of course, getting much larger uh, barrels or on this ship, consequently more secondary, secondaries, um, and a thousand or more tons of steel added upon it. This is quite convenient. Um, but yes, that will pretty much sum it up. There wasn't a ton to do, but there was a lot of development, especially with the uh, light cruiser towards the end, which looks like it's on a tumble hum haul again, which is really stupid, and the game looks really dumb, but I can't do anything about it. It's a good light cruiser hull, so I'm going to use it, and that is all. So here it is, the first Dreadnought 
finally, after that time lapse, we made it to the point where we discovered the Dreadnought technology. And given in this campaign, if you had seen, the development of the um, dockyards has been significant. There hasn't been much else to allocate money to during that period. So we have like a 28,000 ton port by 1900 which is very 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 nice for the construction of this ship in particular having itself a fine 12 is that 12 barrels no that's 14 barrels because there's one two three four five six seven seven turrets so there's 14 barrels yeah that, that would be a smart people thing to say um but yeah this segment here will basically sum up the first video in this series. Um, just a thing to note, this is probably an hour and a half of recording, or two hours at least, um, all boiled down into this. So naturally the next episode will take time to come if, um, if I can even finish it by the time the game updates and the save gets eradicated i don't think that'll happen anytime soon but we'll see but um yeah that'll do it i will finish the series this part of the series in the next episode